Hi, and welcome to Russia Talks. My name is Manfred, and today we are going to talk about the working principles of the two major train detection technologies which are currently being used. One of the most used train detection technologies is called track circuits. Its fundamental working principles are based on the fact that train axles are conductive. Firstly, sections along the railway track where this technology will be applied need to be defined. Afterwards, at the start and end of a section, the rail needs to be cut and an insulated rail trend IRJ must be inserted into the relevant place. Thanks to the IRJs, the rail sections become electronically isolated from each other. Afterwards, an electronic circuit is created by connecting one rail to the power supply and the other to ground with a track relay in between. In the absence of a train inside a section, the track relay is energized as the electronic current flows from one rail through the track relay back to ground via the other rail. In case that the train with conductive axles enters the section, the rails are short-circuited as the current takes the easiest path through the axle. This occurrence lets the track relay de-energize, which consequently is the indication of a non-vacant section. In instances where train loses the wagon, the conductive axles would still remain in the section and therefore the integrity of the train would be checked simultaneously. In this case, the respective track section would remain in an occupied state. In case the whole train successfully passes the entire section, the track relay will be energized again as the rails would no longer be short-circuited by any axle. Now let's talk about axle counting, which can nowadays be considered as the state-of-the-art technology for the purposes of train detection. Basically, we have to start in a similar way as in the case of track circuits. In this instance, we also have to create individual track sections. However, compared to track circuits, we do not need to cut the rail. Instead, a track section is determined by a sensor at the start and at the end of a section. Ideally, the sensors are clamped onto the rail in order to avoid work which could weaken the rail structure, such as cutting or drilling. In instances where a train approaches a section, its wheels are detected by the sensor. This information is evaluated by an axle counting logic, which starts to count the number of axles into the section. As soon as one axle gets detected, the system also switches the track section status to occupied. As the train continues, the wheels also get detected at the point when they traverse the sensor located at the end of the section. With this information, the axle counting logic starts to count the passing axles out of the corresponding section. When the number of the in-counted and out-counted axles matches, the section can be set to clear again. In case a wagon gets lost, the in-counted and out-counted axle count would not match and therefore the section would remain in an occupied status. With track circuits, the track section status is output thanks to a relay. However, as axle counting features much more innovative technology, various state-of-the-art interfaces in addition to a relay interface are available. In conclusion, an increasing number of axle counting systems are currently being implemented globally. This is due to their benefits and features, including state-of-the-art technology and communication methods. For more info, just tune in again and see you in the next episodes of Rauscher Talks. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.